Goeie naand allemaal. Um, hoop het gaan goed. So dankbaar kerk kan begin. Kan nie wacht nie. There is definitely a reason why God said for sake not the gathering of yourselves together. Um, as ek het al ooit gevoel het, dan was dit in hierdie lockdown gewees. So ek kan nie wacht om hier te aanbid, te loof en te prijs en in jylle gezichten, terwijl ek in jylle gezichten kan kyk, vast kyk, jylle oor kan kyk en um, saam met jylle kan wees en ook met jylle kan deel um, wat die heren in jylle gedoen het en hoopelijk met jylle kan deel wat die heren in my gedoen het. So, ek sien baie uit daarna, is een groot voorrecht om weer te kan kerk hee en um, kan my hallo high water, snow or rain, was die manier dat ek het gaan mis nie. <coughs> nou ja, ons gaan vanavond na uh, muziek kyk um, Ons is nog besteeds bezig met um, bediening in die kerk en so En ons gaan, een beetje later gaan ons bykie kyk na um, uh, Worship leaders in die band en die goeders uh, Maar, het is goed om te weet Waar vandaan of muziek kom um, Dit is een uh, ongelooflike groot uh, Topiek Excuse dat ek nou die Afrikaanse Engels vermeng Maar um, this, this is a massive topic, uh, and um, I, I'm not even going to scratch the surface. Not tonight, not during this series. So, we are going to look at the power of the kracht van muziek, just um, as an inleiding, and then we will go from there and go and do it for a long time. Many of you have also asked me, how do I know what music I can listen to? Not all gospel music is from God, so especially this new modern stuff today, I'm going to show you exactly why, and I'm going to show you how to identify music that I can listen to and music that I should not be listening to, and the effects from it. So, this is now as we react to this, we will see that we will see that we will see that we will Misschien is daar een hidden talent onder van jullie. Um, wel, ik zeg altijd, ik kan zingen, kan jullie ook zingen. Enig iemand kan dan zingen. Kom eens bij je hoofd en aanbid ons Sam. Jere ons loof en ons prijs hier vir die, vir die groot voorrecht om die woord te kan deel en om u te kan ken en om weer te kan kerk hier zondag. En jere ons so dankbaar vir Al die voorziening wat u maak vir ons geestelik, maar ook natuurlik. Heere, vir ons vanavond na u te kom en rondom die woord vergader vraag dat u asjeblief um, die woord met ons kom deel. Ek vraag dat u ons sal kom leer, ons sal kom wees, dat u eilig geest sal kom en ons kom teach. Heere, ons is lief u, ons is so bevoorrecht om u te kan ken. Dank u dat u ons geroep het en ons gered het. En jy het ook vir ons gekies het om een visie vir ons te gee van a beautiful Mount Zion. Ons loof en ons prijs hier al vir. Amen. Ok, so, vergewe my nou maar as ek so Afrikaans Engels uh, praat en net seker maak um, allemaal is by mekaar en ek, ek skryf gewoonlik in Engels en ek het actually notas uitgetik so as ek klaar is, as jylle die notas wil hee, dan um, is jylle welkom. Maar as kyk, muziek is vir duisende jare um, is muziek tussen ons. Dit word gebruik om emoties uit te druk, dit word gebruik vir aanbidding, dit word gebruik in oorlog, dit word gebruik om emoties op te wek. So dit is net om emoties uit te druk, maar ook om emoties op te wek. Muziek is die taal, is baie interessant, um, enige muziek aan, van enige wereld, kan kom en hy kan muziek speel som enig iemand. It's a universal language. It's a language that everybody understands. Um, you can put a, uh, you can put my wife um, in Japan and what do they play all minors and she'll be able to at least figure it out and play with and you take the Icelanders and you put them with the Americans and they fit right in with the band and so we see it's it's a very universal language. Um, it's a language everybody understands. Now, 
the devil has always used music as a key to get Christians to bow. On zal zien zoals ons die hele tijd gaan. Um, interessant is um, hulle het gevind dat muziek word gebruik om jou um, gedagtes, om jou mind uh, in jou gedagtes te transformeer, te verander. Um, wie is daar ook, ek denk dan aan die quote, ek word het nog neergeskryf het wat gesê het, let the politicians write the laws and let me write the lyrics of a, uh, uh, yeah, let me write the lyrics of the country and I will rule the country and cha or change the country, it's in thy land. En het is so, my sikke te manier om ons aan te raak en ons te roer, um, ons skryf liedere oor die geskiedenis, ons skryf liedere oor um, een profesie, oor die toekomst, ons skryf liedere in die teenwoordige tyd, en alles word gebruik om ons te draai en te swaai en, en te verander, so, hoekom is muziek so krachtig? As ek nou vir jou moet vraag, waar, kom ek vraag so, die huise waarmee, die materiaal waarmee ons huis gebouw word, is dit jimmels of aards? Ek hoop julle sal sê aards. Alles, die klippe, die baksteen, die sand, die klei waarmee die baksteen gemaak is, cement, alles is op aarde gemaak. Everything we see here, my, my house, your house, your car, it's made from materials that was made on earth. The only thing we have today that was made in heaven that we use today is music. Music originated with God. God het muziek gemaakt. En die doel van muziek was worship. En is nog steeds worship. It never changed. My car, you cannot use it as a boat. Doesn't matter how much you try using my car as a boat. It will not work. Why? Because the purpose of the car is to ride Drive on dry land. Take a boat. Put it on dry land. And let the propeller sing. It will not move an inch forward. Why? Because the purpose is in water. Music's purpose is worship. Whether you see it as such or not, it is worship. It originated in heaven as worship. God put it in place as worship. So the function of music is still worship on earth. We change the contents of the songs, but music is music. So it moves you and me. It's got an ability to stir up patriotism. It's got an ability to stir up excitement. It's got an ability to make us depressed. It's got an ability to make us excited. It's got an ability to move us. You know, you can go on the beat and... It's got an ability to, to stir our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. Why? Because it's heavenly. It's not made in this earth or on this earth. And man has got no part to play in it. So we see music operates in a much higher realm, in a, on a much higher plane than anything on earth. That's why there's so much power behind it. Um, genetisch het hulle gevind julle kan bykie gaan opswat en gaan kyk genetisch het hulle gevind dat wanneer jy na min of meer 60 sekondes as jy vir 60 sekondes lang na muziek luister dan skakel jou linkerbrein jou left brain jou analytical brain the brain side of the brain that solves problems when you listen to 60 seconds of music, your left brain shuts down. So, uh, hier is meer is. Hier is nog nie as, ons nog nie as by die Bible uitgekom, hier is net meer is. So, as jy na muziek luister, vir om en by 60 sekondes lang, om en by die tijd, dan begin jou linker helfte van jou brein af te skakel. Jou uh, analytische probleem oplossing skak. Jou rechterbrein, het te doen met creativity, 
long-term memory, dreams, your belief systems, and your passions. So we see that music in work on the right brain, what to do it with your belief system, to do it with your dreams and aspirations and passions. Everything abstract, so to speak, as well. So now can you see how come the church is infiltrated as um, Bro Jack had another my deal. Um, I had then seen um, what a, a dame on YouTube had posted. And we can't even see her face. She is an ex New Ager, and she said, "You you don't realize how the modern Christian music of the of the day is so New Age." And it is. Ons kan gaan kijk daarna. Ons gaan ons gaan ons gaan kijk. Hoe kom ze ons zo? Hoe kom ze ek zo? There's certain bands that you won't you won't find me listen to them. Gospel bands. You won't find me putting an ear to their music. It it repulses me. I want to throw up. Literally, I'm like I can't stomach it because there's such a new age web intertwined with their music. Forget about the words. It is the ho- music is not just words. Music is a whole. It even is music is also part of an anointing. That's why we have to watch what we listen to and who we listen to. Yes. Okay. So, what's the music I work on the lister? Sister, so go on as long. Word dear my right brain opgenomen. My linker brain is not betrokken om te analyse raag of verkeerd nie. Dis, dis net informatie wat ingaan. Nou, daar is hospitaal in Canada, Toronto. Hulle doen uh, spesifieke, het in die Petru sal ons bykie meer kan verduidelik daarvan, ek seker. Hulle doen een spesifieke operatie op die femur. En dis blijkbaar, ek het nog nooit gehad nie, maar gelees, hulle sê dis een baie pijnvolle operatie. Nou hulle het, um, wat is het, narkose, anesthesia, anesthesia, anesthetics, aesthetic, narkose nodig, knoop my tong lekker vanaf. So omdat ek so opgewon is door sondag. Maar, Hulle het baie hoog dosis van narkose nodig, wat baie gevaarlik is, mense is nabij dood, dus die diep hulle moet, moet in een slaap insit. En hulle wou toe manier vind om dit minder te maak. Because it's so dangerous to try to minimalize um, the side effects and the, the dangerousness, the dangerous... Um, yeah, the danger of the surgery. So they disco- they brought in scientists and they discovered that if a patient listens just for 15 minutes, listens to Bach classical music. Oh, I don't know why, because if you play Bach to me, I'll pull my, my hair out. But 15 minutes of, uh, yeah, I think it's Bach. Yeah, the classical classical music. It reduced the amount of anesthesia to by 50%. 50% minder narkose was nodig geweest. Die are net naar die muziek te luister. Um, Geef jylle paar ander goeders lees hierso. Die positieve effecte. Um, Phil Kerr in his book Music Evangelism says... Oh, they found that music has been known to soothe violently insane persons and even some cases of epilepsy have been prevented by good music. Both doctors and dentists use music to enable patients to withstand pain. And then we see the example of King Saul. He had a devil and he was in trouble. Even good music that David played um, calmed him. Um, industrialists have found that music in factories or large stores helps business both 
to relax the nerves and to speed up production. Scientists also have discovered that music helps the cows to give more milk and hens to lay more eggs. Even plant life uh, even plant life growth and development is affected by good or bad music. Music is used constantly to stir patriotism in every nation on earth. National anthems are used to stir the emotions and the will to sacrifice and loyalty. So we see music is very powerful. Here is good as what wetenschappelijk dier die medisie um, bewys is. Die negatieve effekte van muziek, um, repetitive hypnotic music, en dis baie van ons christen muziek vandag en vandag, dat ek so'n bykie rondkyk oor wat is daar buiten, is daar weer aan, nie 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 nie, dit is net so'n trans, weet, en dit is een baie populaire uh, gospel band, en dit is net die tinkling en die strings in the background, no beat, no rhythm, just this, uh, and we sing like this. Mense toch. Well, repetitive hypnotic music was a tribal inducement to stir the mind, emotions and body to war, to lust or engage in cannibalistic orgies. Abnormal reactions and unnatural behavior are the result of evil music. Certain types of jazz they found and, and a lot of hard rock music have brought about uh, the demoralization um, in recent generations of the Western culture. Uh, the suggestive and sensuous movements inflamed by this kind of music have brought about a moral breakdown in society. That's music, yeah. So on scene you saw um, music can be soothing, reviling, invigorating or demoralizing. It can be used for evil or good purposes. Sure. Music and, and emotion, I'm going to tell you a part of this less. I, don't, I hope I'm not boring you, but uh, this is equipping. Um, Ons weet, muziek is gebruik to express emotions. The basic law, hier is wat hulle gevind het. Nou sê hulle vir my, of demonstraties en manier hoe ons worship recht verkeerd is. The basic law of human nature is that emotions seek expression. Sure. Gaan het weer lees. The basic law of human nature is that emotions seek expression expressions. Demonstraties van die geest in ons kerk, it is an expression. Hande op licht, is the spirit moving, it's making an expression, jy is involved. So emoties, is nie sleg nie, maar wanneer emoties opgewek word, dier een ongodelike um, medium, dan obviously is het verkeerd. En ook emoties, moet nie in beheer van ons is, maar ons het in beheer van emoties wees. So, God has provided two normal cha channels for this. Rhythmic, physical movement and vocal sound. Twee goeders wat muziek uit bestaan. All emotions, dis wat hulle gevind het, all emotions include either pleasure or pain. The infant expresses joy by clapping or beating his hands. Ne? Sien dit baie. Most people express impatience by tapping the foot. Sien dit baie. And our works in our sorrow may be expressed by people bending over in pain or groaning. Anger or temper often expresses itself in shouting wildly at someone or something. Joy and pleasure we find the expression in laughter or sometimes in tears. All human emotions seek a vocal or physical expression. So I've seen that the physical expression of emotion is die fondatie vir ritme. Dancing, is deel van dit, dancing is such an expression of the emotion, the, it's a physical expression of emotion. So, dis kom ons, dis kom die Bible sê, praise him in a dance. So, I'm gonna praise him in a dance, nie in midnight, midnights of impalas of vloere nie, 
because then I'm praising something else in a dance. Vocal expression of emotion is the foundation for music. Therefore, these two, rhythm and music, are vitally related, each of them being channels for the expression of emotion. Um, I let the find that a, a person's individual capacity for emotion often determines their ability to produce music. What they found, the great composers and musicians have been practically without exception highly temperamental and intensely emotional. So come it was not the bedienung but gen het to praat ek bietjie met mense en ehm oor die musiek bedieninge en hoe dit moet wees en hoe dit werk en almal het vir my gesê good luck with the musicians. Now, ons musicians is daar um oor dit maar um ja the better the musician, the more temperamental they are <laughs> and intensely emotional they are. So now that's the next fight with emotions, is when we are emotions on the beer in place of our um, beer from our emotions. Is. When we are emotions on the beer, then we will have a problem. Um, so emotions um, obviously directed into proper channels and under proper control are part of the human makeup that God intended for man in the beginning. Yeah. It is alles that can go up. So on scene music, uh, you get, we have music which expresses emotion. We've got music which incites emotion and music which is descriptive. Ne? Expresses emotion, emotions of love, hate, anger, fear, courage, faith, despair, laughter, tears, shouting and Every other emotion, music which incites emotion, that work up emotional, psychological, and um, physics, for good or for bad, and then music which is descriptive, it describes, you know, it pictures a storm, it pictures war, anger, peace, turmoil, trust. And since this comes out, always with the flicks, always with the music base, it when it says for what is on path and what can happen. So that is not. In baie kort, daar is nog so baie oor dit. Maar nou kan jy verstaan hoe ons gebombardeer word met muziek. We walk into shopping malls, you go sit in a restaurant, um, you go to a grocery store, and it's music playing. Music, 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 music. Music is the easiest way for the devil to preach a worldly uh, belief system and to instill it in our minds. And... Um, you know, the preacher has one hour on a Sunday to install godly principles in our lives. But we put on uh, 5FM, Yakaranda, Ares Gheer, whatever, and it just plays in the house the entire time. And that plays in a worldly belief system, a worldly view, um, heart view, into the atmosphere in your home and in your mind the entire time. And then you go to church and you wonder why you can't raise your hands. You know, it's people that still listen to worldly music. I was shocked with one place that I worked. Um, the young gentleman said no, after his wedding he would like to go to an a, a island where they just rave the entire time. And I mean, he's like this with the pastors. So, uh, you know, it's obviously okay. Um, the pastor himself dances on worldly music and listens to worldly music. So, you know, you're being influenced, mm -hmm. and the fruit thereof is worldliness. And then when you get into a spiritual service, you cannot express your emotions to God, because you are bound, you've lived out your worship into the world. So it's very dangerous, I say you, but you understand what I'm saying, um, talking in general to people that still listen to worldly music and just giving us an idea of why we shouldn't. Um, you know, when you look at a concert, as we now concert are going to look and people clap hands. What's hand the clap? It's an act of worship. Raising hands. It belongs in worship. Dancing. It belongs in worship. It doesn't belong at a concert. It doesn't belong at a jaw. Um, what else? Jumping. Part of worship. Shouting. 
part of worship. So don't tell me you go to a concert and you're not busy with a worship going on there. Um, it's all part of worship. You cannot separate the two. Music was made for worship. No. Gaan saam met my Genesis 4 toe. Genesis 4 verse 21. Genesis 4 21. Die, um, ons platforms vandag, ons is enig, toe word ons uitgenooi na a, a worship workshop. And Mrs. Who Kelly, oh, yeah. Yeah, she came to uh, teach the people a bit. So ons, ons is dankbaar gewees, iemand het ons gedink, ons uitgenooi, en um, aangezien my um, abilities baie limited is, het ek gedink het sal goed wees, Om my te gaan en bykie oefeninge te kry en dinge om te doen en bla bla bla. And one of the things she said, and here she lost me, completely. Heel te mal. Sy het my heel te mal vloer. Sy het gesê, die platform moet gecommand word. Dis ook om ons moet gaan kyk na Beyoncé. Sy het Beyoncé sy naam gesê. We need to go look at Beyoncé. Who's the other name she used? And she started using, she said, Beyonce has got the best command of the platform. To say, say, the worship layers moet bykie na haar music videos gaan kyk, en haar gaan luister en kyk hoe sy command. So ons sien dat die platform, en sy is die worship layer in hulle kerk, by the way, sy is, sy is famous sangeres, ek nog nooit van haar gehoor nie, maar sy is blijkbaar famous, en, sy um, is famous sangeres, sy is famous sangeres op ook, Sangers ook, nie net sangeres nie. Sy is betrokke geweest by idols, South Africa, en bla bla bla. Maar sy lei worship in haar kerk ook. So, ons sien dat die platform het vandag um, entertainment geword. En dis, it was never God's intention to let the platform be a place of entertainment. Another lady, it was head of um, her church's leadership, she said to me one day she would love to have a talent night at church. Because these Christians need to have a platform where they can springboard from. Ouch. I'm so glad God opened up my eyes yes, because amen. I don't want any of the world and worldly things. Mm. Of course they are dead spiritually, they are bound in worship and they are frustrated because... They want more of God, but they just don't seem to get it. Okay, Genesis 4, Genesis 4, verse 21. <coughs> Let's read verse 20. And Ada bare Jabal, he was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Organ is nie soos ons vandag sien in ons uh, sisters kerke nie, dis a blaas instrument. Um, he was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Hy was die eerste muzikant. Ons sien het in Genesis. Nooit weer hoor ons van Jubal nie. Sy woord, Jobal, sy naam, Jobal, in Hebrews, beteken, this is what it means, so if we look at his name, remember name is nature, they gave names according to the characters and natures. It means to flow, to bring forth, to carry, to lead, to bear along, and to carry away. So what is the purpose of a musician's music? First of all, to flow with. So, me being in the house of God, serving God, not listening to music that the devil inspired, but listening to music that is godly and good, is to flow with the Spirit of God's will in worship and adoration. So when we come into a Sunday service, or whenever we get together to worship, 
it is the music team, the worship team's responsibility to flow with the Spirit and in God's will and the service. But also the people that's not in the band, also it's their responsibility to, as they come with music and with song, to flow with the will and the Spirit of God. It is to bring forth. Now, what is that? What does music do? It's to bring forth a desire to love and to serve God with all your heart, in yourself and in others. So if I'm a musician, and I'm making music unto the Lord in worship and adoration, it is to bring forth a desire in me to love God, but whoever listens, not listen, I hate that, but whoever takes part of the worship service, that hears the music that the musician is making, it is to bring them into that desire as well. So also you can see now the negative side, the worldly side, um, when uh, Beyonce, what desire does she bring forth in her people? Lady Gaga and Katy Perry and whoever, um, Heinz Winkler, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know. I'm so out of it, but I don't know who's singer, Jay-Z, and ugh, I don't want to tell you all the people I know because then you'll realize I'm older. Um, but, oh, bless Bridges. To bring forth a desire. What desire do they bring forth in you? Yeah. The purpose or the function of a musician is to bring forth a desire and a love to serve God. To bring forth a desire to repent and to open the way for the Word. Music opens up the way for the Word. Um, it leads us to repentance. How many times have I been put on my face by a song that was playing or somebody singing a song and I just went down in repentance saying, Lord, I'm sorry. That word means to carry. So what is, where does it carry you to? Godly music carries you to a place above this world. To God. And to lead. It is to lead people into worship and adoration. What is worship? Bowing the world. So bowing the world to God in adoration, adoring Him, loving Him, embracing Him, is to lead people into that. That's what the music team, music ministry is there for. I don't know about you, but I've always wondered, why music? Why do we play music in church? Why do we sing songs? And this, kind of, this explains it very well for me. It means to bear long. Bear long means to suffer long. Now this is... This is a very interesting point. I love this. This usually implies the power to sustain, to stay there without flinching or breaking. To sustain, to stay without flinching or breaking. It takes a tarrying long before God in worship sometimes. With music and adoration um, in situations that is not favorable to us, but it causes us to be unwavering and be standing strong under God. It takes a tarrying in worship and adoration sometimes. So we need to learn to wait on God in song and worship. Song is also intimacy with God. Now music carries us away. It means to carry away. It also carries us away into realms where it is easier for us to connect with God. You take it services that we can connect with God when the power is off. But how much easier it was when we had a good song service and God moved in our hearts and we sang our hearts out and we put our hearts with our mouths and our words and we just worshipped Him and adored Him and loved Him. It's so easy for us to then connect um, to God um, that day. Okay. I want us to look at 1 Chronicles 15. Don't know if we're going to get very far. Koop jylle nog met my? 1 Chronicles chapter 15. 
Now we see uh, the purpose of the priesthood, the musicians and worship leaders in worship. This is the purpose of musicians and worship leaders in worship. It's never meant to be a show. It's never meant to be entertaining. But it is meant to, to flow, to bring forth, to carry, to lead us all to God. Now, we see that as David, verse 3 to 12, part of it was, you can go read it, we read it on Sunday as well, Sunday, previous Sunday, um, where David assembled the children of the Levites and sons of Kohath and Ariel, and he brought all them together, and um, he called for Zadok and Abathar in verse 11, the priests, and for the Levites, and and Joel, and Shammai, and Eliel, and Aminadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of Levi. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord, God of Israel, unto the place that I have prepared for it. Now, they, if you look at, read it all, they brought in music, they brought in songs, they brought, brought in praise, all before the ark, verse 16, let's read verse 16, And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So we see the bringing in of the ark of the covenant, the restoration, the, the ark coming to its place, um, the ark speaking of God's authority, speaking of God's glory, speaking of God's personal presence, God's authority. It was being preceded, is that the right word, by music and song. It's always been like that. Uh, verse 23 and 24 um, of the same chapter, and Berichi and Alcanah were doorkeepers for the ark. And Shebaniah and Josephat and Nathaniel and Amasiah and Zechariah and Benaiah and Eliezer, the priests did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God. And Obed-Edom and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the ark. Obed-Edom was also part of the music team. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obed-Edom with joy. That word doorkeeper means a defender, those that guard and protect. It means a gatekeeper, a porter. So on scene, doorkeepers, hulle was daar om te beskerm, to fight for, to guard, to protect. This is part of what they did bringing up. I mean, Obed Edom was a doorkeeper, but he also played an instrument and he sang. So we see as they went before the ark, they were doorkeepers, they were worship leaders, all this forming part of just going before the ark. And they told him to go before the ark, it means to be in front of, to battle for, and in the presence of. So when they went before the ark, it says, go read this whole chapter, they went before the ark. That word go before is pornim, and it means in front of battle for, in the presence of. We see music was part of fighting for the ark. Worship was part of battling the way open for the ark of God, for the personal glory presence of God oh, you, to Jesus. come in to its place as they brought back the ark. Woo! No wonder the enemy came to infiltrate the house of God. As long as the music in the house of God is not godly, not honoring God, and as long as it is a show, worldly, fleshly, sensual, God's glory will not come. Because God's glory, God's ark will not follow that. But when the music is godly, honoring God, pointing to God, worshipping God, adoring God and godly and not an entertainment. When it's leading people into worship to God, when it's leading, not entertaining people, but bringing people into contact, leading them along and leading yourself along to be in, in touch with God and to adore Him and love Him. That's when the ark follows. That's the ark. That, that is the way God wants us 
to go and worship and adore Him so that His ark, His authority and His glory can follow. Thank you, Jesus. In Psalm 84 verse 10, David said, For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of you. wickedness. So we see that a doorkeeper is very important and music is part of that. It cleanses the atmosphere. It chases out devils. It wars against uh, a spirit uh, that's trying to come and break down what God is building up. Um, what I've learned over the years is where somebody has got a serious... I'm not talking about some cat, characteristics. I'm talking about when they've got a serious Jezebel spirit, usually they hate, they loathe, they absolutely loathe the moving of the spirit during music. They cannot stand it and they do everything in their power to shut it down. We had to fight through so many devils before and um, but worshiping God always brings the victory. Isaiah 14 Isaiah 14 Isaiah Verse 12 How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? Lucifer was God had music gemaakt and Lucifer was in charge of it. Hmm. He was the worship, angel of worship, of song and music. That's why he had pipes in him to make music. That's why he uses it as a powerful, powerful tool today. Ek onthou, ek was net a Christen gewees, jong, paar weke. En ek stapte in koemboeken in. En soek ek vir my bykie gospel music, want ek doel ek het na alles behalwe dit geluister. Terwyl ek sy deur gaan, toe vang ek prentjie op een van die CD covers my. Jo, ek was so die in mekaar, want ek het altyd gedoog, Koem is een christen boekwinkel. En, dit is een band dat gives himself out as gospel, so, but it was demons all over angels, and the angels losing the fight and the battle, and with these demonic faces, and one of, another CD cover I saw had Baphomet on, Another CD I saw had, uh, well, a band that played, gospel band, had the name Leviathan written on his shirt. Crazy stuff. Yeah. So, no, just because it's a gospel band, just because they say they're a gospel band, doesn't mean they are. They could be wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay, so I've seen Lucifer, son of the morning. Um, it's also called the morning star. So the morning star comes out. When the morning star is out, you know the sun is going to rise. So Lucifer had gegaan and he prepared the way for the sun of righteousness to come. That's why when he fell, God said um, he will uh, pour out the spirit of mantle of Elijah on earth again. What for? To herald in the coming of the son of God the Son of Righteousness to come. So we see that this angel of worship was to herald in the Son of God, the bright and morning star. Ezekiel 28. Van of vers 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes, say, I had my sick instrument to God, was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. God put it in him. It was prepared in him. God made music. He said, you're going to be the angel of music. Yeah. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth a word cover means to hedge, to fence about, yeah. to shut in, to stop the approach, 
to protect and to defend. This angel of music, he was to cover. So we see that the musicians and song and worship and praise, it is to cover. It, God said, I'll give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That garment, it clothes. A garment is for clothing. It clothes. The track on it, but clear. So, as is what they're covering us, it's to defend, it's to hedge, defense about. It's itself the word for veil. The veil in Exodus, it was used, it's exactly the veil was used to cover. So, it's not the same word for veil, it's the same um, word for cover, what the veil did. The veil was to cover. So, we see here that music is such a part of this. And music, you can put up a sound barrier. When you worship, I mean, there's, there's a protection, there's a warfare, and there's a defense. There's been times in my life that I thought, man, I'm, I'm going to lose it. But when the Spirit of God prompted me and said, come on, Ron, worship, worship the Lord, that I walked out there so emboldened and um, full of um, valor and just... Mm -hmm. Great, um, greatly encouraged to press in and to serve the Lord. Um, yeah, I've got a bit more time. Just hang on, I'm not, I'm not going to keep you long, I won't make it. So we see uh, that music um, is now used by Lucifer to attack uh, God's presence and authority. By taking God's people captive. Takes you captive. Why? Well, how? With music. It influences you. People, it influences you. Uh, if I have to listen to some songs that I used to listen to out there in the world, it won't be long and you were like, whoops, stop, 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 stop. I, I can guarantee you, I di don't do it. But I guarantee you, anybody that, is, that has got half a spiritual life will feel that influence on their lives listening to it. Um, <laughs> there was a pastor once that um, he went to an ice skating ring and he heard this music, doof, 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 and he's like, he likes it. We need that in church, he said. So, he asked one of his deacons slash elders to find him a CD like that. It's got some good house music on it. Not that you can call house music good. So, it's a young Christian and I think my brother was still there as well. And there was this Saturday, Saturday night prayer meeting. And I so desperately wanted to travail. I didn't have it yet. And we walk in and all of a sudden the music goes on. Doof, 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 doof. And I'm like, um, <laughs> is this even allowed? <laughs> and um, there were some songs that I recognized on, um, recognized that we used to take drugs on and stuff like that. And that was playing in God's house. And I think back. You know, people danced and, you know, the fruit of those meetings were never godly. Never. There was so much that was wrong in that pastor's church. It is incredible to have witnessed the godlessness. But we had our Saturday night rave parties in the church and I had to repent so many times over that even though I did it ignorantly um, still I knew it wasn't right so I repented I'm sure my brother repented too but yeah there's um, music and then there's music and that's how Lucifer comes and he takes music to attack God's principles and God's glory so we see now Fast forward to, to 
to today where we are today and talking about David's tabernacle being established on Zion we see that David brought in a whole new order of worship it's never been before but it's since David brought it in it always had to be restored afterwards so every godly king in Israel who brought back the nation to the Lord's ways and to the Lord's principles and to God they always restored the worship that was established by David in his tabernacle. Now we see if you read in 1 Chronicles 15, uh, chapter 15 and chapter 16, we see here that David he put 24 elders, in, oh, 24 elders, 24 hour worship in place. They had 288 singers. They had 4,000 people that played the music instruments, and they rotated on uh, each one at an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour, 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, they just worship. Now we see at the Temple of Solomon, Solomon brought, uh, brought over and he also put in place David's um, order of worship. Then we see um, the godly King Jehoshaphat, when he brought the nation of Israel back to God, he brought back um, the worship. The godly king Hezekiah had the worship that David had in Second Chronicles 29 and 30. Um, the godly king Josiah, he brought back David's tabernacle worship. Um, the restoration of Judah from Babylon, Nehemiah and Ezra, they brought back the worship that David um, established in his tabernacle. And then the prophecy of Amos, we see in Amos 9-11 that um, God is going to rebuild and restore the worship and the tabernacle, the tabernacle of David worship. So, oh, there's so much. Um, each time the nation of Israel went in a, into a decline, into idolatry, there was a breach, it was called a breach, a rent, a leak, a cleft, a gap in the nation's favor with God and in their relationship with God. Now the gap could only be closed by returning to God and His ways. God didn't come and fit in with their ways, they had to change it and fit in with God's ways again. Now the Lord it's the word says the Lord is the repairer of the breach and the restorer of the paths to dwell in. Isaiah 58. I thought I was going to get a bit further. I wanted to look at music and songs in the in church history in the in the New Testament, but we won't get there today. Isaiah 58, verse 12. Um, and they shall uh, be of, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the paths to dwell in. So we have these two sides that have caused the breach in the ways of God. The one side took away music, they took away uh, vibrant celebrations in music they took away the demonstrations of the spirit and the move of the spirit in the hearts of the people and people being able to express their love to God through music they took that away the other side they went and they took it but they they mimicked the worldly fashions, the worldly ways of doing things, the worldly rhythms, the worldly way of doing music and they made it a big show of entertainment and they took away anything and everything that's godly. So we see these two sides, both of them are wrong. Both of them caused a breach in God's ways and principles. But talking, this is, this is incidentally the fasting chapter. And he says, and they, shall be, they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places, 
Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. So we see that the Lord gaan a restoration do. He gaan it oprig, waar musiek weer gaan oor, om te vloei met sy gees en met sy wil, waar het weer aanbidding is, waar het mense lei in een vlak van, van uh, om te connect met God, een realm, boer die aardse realm, waar ons weg is, in a raising up above this world, where we are so connected with God, that I am emboldened, om te doen is wel wanneer ik zo boer die wereld gelig is om God neer mij vier vers 7 But it came to pass that when Sanballat and Tobiah, and the Arabians, and the Ammonites, and the Ashdodites, heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up, and that the breaches began to be stopped, they were very, they were very wroth. The breaches again were stopped. Yeah. Um, with success, Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1. Now it came to pass, when Sanballat, and Tobiah, and Geshem, yeah, verse 1, the Arabian, and the rest of our, enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left therein, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates that Sanballat and Geshem sent um, unto me, saying, come let us meet together. You see, there is a gap in the mirror, what God's glory must beskerm, what God's temporary must beskerm, God's throne must beskerm. There is a breach in the gap, the kerk is for us all my breach to be Om nie om, om my breach vol te maak, verskoon my, om my breach vol te maak, om in my gap te staan, maar dit is nie meer nie, maar, God gaan mense oprig, en jou en my wat ons soek, wat, in elke aspek, muziek, in ons dagelijkse levens, whatever aspect it might be, your music, your worship, your daily lives, we're going to stand in that gap, and we're going to be the repairer, and we're going to be the difference between what's right and wrong, godly and un ungodly. Psalm 106, Psalm 106, vers 23. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach, to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. So God nog altijd mense gesoek om in die breach te staan. En God nog altijd gewerk om die breach te repair en recht te maak. So ons sien, dat God gaan het vandag weer doen, want daar is a breach vandag, en God is bezig om het te doen, stuk vir stuk, en hy sal dit volbring. Volgende keer sal ons kyk, as jyre wil, um, die rol van muziek, en, en kerkse geschiedenis, um, die Nieuwe Testament, so ook die Oud Testament, um, ja, ons, Ek dink ons gaan meer as net drie, drie lesse hee op hierdie. Maar um, ek is opgewonde. Yes, amen. Ons sien uit na sondag, sien uit om julle te sien. Um, sien uit om te sien wat die Heer in julle levens gedoen het. So, God bless you all. Love you all very much. And stand strong. Yes, bye bye. Amen.